very good morning my dear students so in this uh, ppt i am going to explain you about the working of uh, fluid hydraulic system okay so this question is very important many times asked in the examination explain with a uh, needs a uh, sketch need diagram of working of uh, fluid hydraulic system okay so the main function of uh, this fluid hydraulic system is to uh, transmit the or to provide the energy transmission between the two system okay so this is the main uh, use of uh, that is the main working of this hydrolysis fluid hydraulic system okay na? it will transmit the energy system to one system to the another system with the help of some fluid okay some motion okay so here uh, to transmit the energy we are using some uh, what uh, fluids okay so let me understand this so introduction so normally the fluid uh, hydraulic system uses a pump to push the hydraulic fluid through the system to create a fluid power okay so normally the pump is used to push the liquid in a hydraulic fluid through the different parts of an hydraulic system to create the fluid power or to, to generate a power okay the fluid passes through the walls and flows to the cylinder where the hydraulic energy convert uh, into the mechanical energy um, okay now the wall help to direct the flow of the liquid and uh, relieve the pressure when they are required okay so here how does the hydraulic system work okay so here the main uh, use of this hydraulic system is that is how does uh, this uh, how it will work means with the help of some component okay now it is the main use of um, the main use of this hydraulic uh, system is to transmit the energy system from one system to another component of an hydraulic system okay and it is normally based it is by normally it is a uh, work based on the principle of pascal okay which says that the pressure on in a enclosed fluid is uniform in, in all the direction okay already we studied in the first ppt first ppt okay the pascal law is illustrated uh, in the given diagram okay the force given by the fluid in a given by the multiplication of the pressure in the area of the cross section area so just uh, understand that uh, the pascal law says that uh, um, the pressure is enclosed in a fluid uh, fluid is uh, uniformly distributed in the almost all the direction okay so based on the pascal law the hydraulic system work okay so what is the main function of this hydraulic power system so hydraulic fluid today is the normal nowadays the hydraulic uh, fluid uh, used uh, many purpose okay, that is multiple purpose okay the major function of this hydraulic fluid is to provide the energy transmission underline this energy transmission between the two parts okay, of a hydraulic component uh, okay so energy transmission through the system which enables the work and motion to be accomplished with the help of some liquid fluid okay hydraulic fluids are uh, is a responsible for the lubric uh, lubrication heat transfer and contamination control okay uh, this is the main function of hydraulic power system okay and then to transmit the energy transmission between the two parts okay and uh, is hydraulic fluid uh, is a hydraulic fluid hydraulic flu is a hydraulic fluid um, can be work with an hydraulic fluid this is a question okay is hydraulic fluid is a hydraulic fluid how you can say that it is a hydraulic fluid is a hydraulic fluid okay so hydraulic fluid that is a our a hydraulic liquid is a medium by which power is transferred in a hydraulic machinery okay common hydraulic fluids are based on the mineral oil water already we studied in the first ppt that is water okay now petroleum based okay so this is about the hydraulic fluid okay hydraulic fluids are what are hydraulic fluids already we studied the five different types so one is water and petroleum oil okay so these are the two main parts uh, these are the main two oils are used for the hydraulic power system okay next how does it work this is very important how the hydraulic power system is work okay now so here uh, these are the main components of an hydraulic power system okay the hydraulic system consists of a number of parts of a proper functioning okay is the schematic um, i will show the diagram on next page okay so it is a it consists of an immobile piston that is a connected to the output shaft in an enclosed cylinder one piston will be there mobile piston and storage tank it will store the uh, oil filter it will filter the con raw material from the given liquid and electric pump uh, through which we can supply the fluid and uh, pressure regulator we can control the how much pressure we want okay control wall device also there and leak proof closed loop piping okay these are the main parts of an hydraulic power system um, upon, apart from this uh, so many parts are there but these are the main part okay so first how the hydraulic power system is work okay the output shaft transfer to the motion or a force um, however all the parts help to control the, this system okay the storage tank normally it will store the fluid that is also called as a reservoir for the liquid based on the trans transmission medium okay the liquid use is generally normally high density in crops uh, incompressible oil okay now that is a property of a liquid should be um, 
applicable for the all the fluid okay proper should be uh, it will it should have the use of liquid should have a properties of viscosity okay so it is filtered to remove the dust or any other unwanted particle and then pumped by the hydraulic pump okay from the hydraulic pump there, there is in the capacity of a pump depends upon the hydraulic system design okay so how you want to design based on that only the pump will be supply the fluid okay these pump generally deliver constant volume which is underlined this constant volume in each revolution of a pump shaft okay therefore the fluid pressure can be increases or can be decreases at the normal state okay so okay the third is third step is the pressure regulator is used to avoid uh, such circumstances which is in uh, redirect the excess fluid back to the storage tank these are the pressure regulators where the raw material which contain that will be supplied to the again storage tank reverse okay the moment of pist piston is controlled by changing the liquid flow from the part a to part b okay again next to last one that is the last one is uh, last step is the cylinder movement is controlled by the using the control valve which direct the fluid flow okay the fluid pressure is the uh, normally line is connected to the part to po b to raise the piston and it is connected to the port a to a lower down the piston okay the wall can also stop the fluid flow any apart from the port okay the leak proof for piping is also important due to the safety environmental hazard and economical aspect by which at the end of the session we can hold the we can transmit the energy system from one component to another component of a hydraulic power system okay so this is about the working of uh, this uh, uh, hydraulic fluid hydraulic system okay just to understand from this uh, what are the main parts and how does it work okay so next one is uh, what are the advantage of uh, using this uh, fluid hydraulic system okay the main advantage of uh, this hydraulic system is it is an uh, uses an incom incompressible fluid which result in a higher efficiency okay so not compressible it is used as a incompressible fluid okay and also it delivers a cons cons consistent power output which is difficult to uh, which is difficult in pneumatic or mechanical type system okay and hydraulic systems employ high density incompressible fluid okay and there is a possibility of leakage is less as compared to the hydraulic power system and compared to the pneumatic power system okay the it and maintenance cost is also less and this system perform well in hot mm, environmental condition okay so normally these are the some uh, advantage of this hydraulic power system okay so here uh, the main uh, the here in the hydraulic power system the main advantage is it will not leakage uh, much okay uh, and it is uh, there is a noiseless and maintenance cost is also less and these are the incompress incompressible fluids are uh, used as compared to compressible fluid are little costly okay and also it delivers the constant power to the, all the power system see here uh, at the uh, it will sub here in the thirds in the th second case it will supply the constant it will supply the capacity depends upon the person and it will deliver a constant volume okay so constant volume uh, it will deliver the constant volume of the all the components of a hydraulic power system okay next what are the disadvantage of this normally disadvantage should uh, have to write less than advantage okay so the main disadvantage of this hydraulic power system is the metal of storage tank piping cylinder and the piston can be corroded within hydraulic fluid okay so you have to careful while selecting the metal and hydraulic fluid you have to choose the hydraulic fluid such that it should have a very good properties of good property in hydraulic fluid uh, uh, okay if it is not having a good uh, hydraulic fluid then there is a major chance of uh, damaging the storage tank piping cylinder etc okay um second disadvantage is the structural weight and the size of a system is more which makes them unsuitable okay so normally the structure of a weight uh, it will take the large it will hold it will uh, hold the large space okay so the third one is the small impurities on a hydraulic fluid can be permanently damaged to complete the system okay even if a, in the liquid mixed with a small raw material if it is goes in the entire system there is a chance of delivering the whole system okay and the leakage of hydraulic fluid is also uh, critical issue and suitable prevention method and uh, seal must be adopted okay uh, last one the hydraulic fluid is um, if it is not uh, disposed if you properly can be harmful to the environment okay so the coming out the hydraulic fluid is not disposed properly in time to the environment to the supply of all the components there is a harmful for the environment okay next one is uh, application so this is also very important so in hydraulic systems are used in almost all the sector okay r and d center and all the mechanical textile industry almost okay now so first one is the industrial so in industry the plastic processing machinery steel making and primary metal extraction application automated production line machine tool industries paper industries a loader crushers textile machinery r d equipment and robotic system etc these are all are required power systems so hence uh, hydraulic systems are used in the industry also and uh, second one is the mobile mobile hydraulics okay so in mobile hydraulics the uh, also power system is uh, 
takes place so hence there also hydraulic systems are used it is in tractor irrigation system earth movement equipment material handling equipment commercial vehicles tunnel boring equipment rail equipment building and construction machinery and the drilling rigs etc okay so these are the different area which are using for the hydraulic power system okay and the third in automobiles also they are using hydraulic power system and that is it is used in the system like a brakes shocks observer steering systems a windshield lift and cleaning okay so in automobiles also we are using this hydraulic power system to supply the in a brake means to stop the vehicle okay in some time in marine applications also they are doing uh, in that is uh, it mostly covers the ocean going vessel fishing boats and naval equipment in naval equipment also we require energy transmission hence this hydraulic power systems are used okay so next one is the aerospace equipment okay in aerospace also we are using uh, this hydraulic power system okay there are uh, equipment and system used for the uh, rudder control landing gear brakes flight control uh, flight control and transmission etc which are used in aeroplanes rocket and uh, spaceships or in uh, okay apart from this five also in some other area we can using we are using uh, this hydraulic power system okay so normally hydraulic power uh, this application are very very important okay so normally hydraulic power systems are used in uh, uh there's a medium energy transmission okay so not large okay so in between some small distance or small medium distance we are using this hydraulic power system uh, okay to transmit the energy from one system to the another system okay i think i hope you understand this uh, working of this hydraulic system and components of hydraulic power system and advantage disadvantage application of hydraulic power system okay mm, thank you